When their classmate was diagnosed with cancer, students at Hardin County Elementary wanted to help out. News 3's Madeline Parker spoke with staff and students about how they use small steps to make a big change. In September, six-year-old Daly Jackson found out she had a type of cancer called lymphoblastic lymphoma. When Jackson's school bus driver heard about the diagnosis, she was with her grandson, who wanted to find ways to help. So it kind of put an idea in my mind that kids they hurt too when their friends are hurt and they hurt too. And these kids were really concerned and worried about daily. And so I kind of was trying to think of something they could do to help out because when they're busy and they're helping, it makes them feel better. And the penny drive was born. Kids from every class at Hardin County Elementary donated money to help Jackson and her family with expenses. In total, they raised over $3,000 in a month. It is absolutely heartwarming to see this community, especially these kids, come together um, for a fellow student to help them. Um, it's absolutely amazing how much money they actually ended up bringing in. Uh, the outpouring of love that they showed, you know, they some of them I know didn't have much to give, but they gave what they had to give, and that's everything. The fifth grade class raised the most money, with Wyatt Atkinson giving the biggest donation, $85.17. Because, well, when I heard she had cancer, uh, I automatically thought that I wanted to raise money because a lot of my family members have had cancer. With the money being raised, the students and staff at Hardin County School hope Jackson and her family can focus on healing and getting healthy. And I hope that you get better soon. We hope that she gets better and everybody's rooting for her and they're doing their best that they can to help support her. We got your back, kiddo. We're here for you and your family, and we love you, and we can't wait till you get back here with us. In Hardin County, Madeline Parker, News 3. Friends of Daly say she's doing well and getting better, and you can find more ways to help her and her family on our website, WSILTV.com.